Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about getting the WSL, so Windows Subsystem for Linux terminal to work with VS Code. So I've been using VS Code for about a year now and I've been using WSL for maybe two years now and I've always wanted to use them together but I've had problems. So to show you what the problem was, if I open up VS Code and I have a terminal, so let me just create a new one just so you can see. So if I start a terminal, you see I have this error. And I was always getting this error and I could never figure out what to do to fix it. Well, I went through the process of the new approach to using WSL with VS Code, which is basically like working remotely through your own computer. So basically the Windows VS Code will remote into your Linux subsystem on Windows. So it's not like you're working with multiple mach multiple machines, it's the one machine, but it goes through remote to get this to work. But to get this to work, you have to install another version of VS Code, which is just the insider's version. So it's the more up-to-date version, uh, maybe not as stable, but it's pretty much the same thing. So here, if you look down here, it's green, whereas the original VS Code is blue. So I went through these instructions and I got it to work. But what I noticed was that after I went through through these instructions that it worked on the first one as well. And I'll show you what the one command that's needed to get this to work. So here I have it. Let me just clear this out so we can start over. So I'm, I have my Windows terminal open here. And if you do wslconfig.exe, it gives you some commands. So the first command that you want to run is list, so slash l. And then here I have two installed on my system. I have legacy and I have Ubuntu. Well, legacy doesn't work with VS Code. And to get it to work with VS Code, you have to switch it to the other one, Ubuntu. So let me do that. So wslconfig.exe uh, slash s for set default and just put in what you want to change it to. So in my case, Ubuntu. So I just changed it and now let me Restart VS Code. And now you'll see my terminal here. Once it boots up, it works. So if I do uh, print working directory, it works. If I do ls, it works, and so on. And I can use all of the things that I have. Uh, desktop, let's see, flash test, and so on. So it works now that I switch to the different default. So I'm going to put a link in the description below to this developing in WSL, just in case you want to use a terminal with VS Code. And if this uh, doesn't work for whatever reason for you, then you can try the approach that I have in the original VS Code. But hopefully one of the two approaches works for you so you can go ahead and use the terminal inside of VS Code with WSL as the basis of the terminal. So I hope this video helps someone because it took me forever to figure this out and I've been wanting to do it for a while. So um, if you have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.